What's up YouTube, it's Louis here. I hope you're all well. Today we're looking at quant on the daily time frame. And uh, if we zoom in and uh, we're looking at it without the drawings at the moment, we can see we've of course come under the EMA, it's formed a bearish cross running into the white EMA, which is just the 200 EMA multiple times, constantly closing below. We have closed above it, but this is not the level we've been talking about. We wanna see a daily candle close above 125, as well as this uh, 55 EMA. Until then, as you can see, since going below, you've just tested the 20. That's a good step. So I like the fact that you actually tested it, pulled away, and actually formed a higher low. So when we turn on the drawings, we were, of course, that's a doji, that's a signal at support. You didn't close below the 236. We're gonna reverse back to the top. So all of these were tradable. We spoke about it in yesterday's video. Go check that out. We were talking about all the tradable events over the last week, three uh, potential trades that you could have taken. And if you wanted to learn those specific strategies, they're all in my education over my Twitter. You just follow the link under this video in the description. There's a link to my Twitter where you can, yeah, private message me over there. There is a scammer about with a zero at the end of their name instead of an O, so be careful. I don't have any numbers in my name, just letters just so you're aware. So it's best if you just click the link below to get to my actual Twitter. But yeah, we've been talking about the 382126, but also 130. I've decided to take off the drawings today because it, it looks a bit clearer. But of course, when you turn on the drawings, that's the reality. There's so much in your way. If we're coming up into, yeah, these are all put, uh, put possible resistances that you can reject. But yeah, essentially when you pull uh, uh, down below, the 55 is a signal you're coming to the 200 that needs to hold for the continuation of the uptrend you can do a bear trap just like this where you came under uh, and reclaimed it and carried on up so that could be a potential scenario but i believe that eventually this will be a, a bull trap i can be proved wrong i want to see that so that's why at the moment i'm going to tell you guys that it would be right and we're just going to keep running into resistances and form lower highs since making this uh, lower low over here. You had We were following this higher low structures over here and we formed a descending triangle. If you remember, I gave you that. We have a target back down to the weekly uh, EMAs over here and we need to f uh, hold them to confirm this weekly reversal. So we were, of course, in a downtrend weekly bear market and we completely invalidated that by reclaiming the EMAs. And then the final nail in the coffin would have been holding this as support. So we need to see that and unfortunately we fell under it. So that's a signal when we come back into these resistances where we see on the left over here, um, where, where was old support? Yeah, we should run into them as uh, resistance. So that's why when we go to the daily time frame. We got the 55 here. So it's positive that you pulled away, you found a higher low, and then you, you're coming up back above the 20. You've closed above the end of 200 EMA, but yeah, we're still under this wick. We're still under the 55. So this would uh, suggest that you, uh, we're going towards it now. We're trapped between the 20 and the 55. So as long as we are remaining above the 20, so as long as we're closing a daily candle above the 20 EMA, we should expect continuation to this. But a daily candle close uh, rejecting this so that wouldn't be today because we're not touching it at the moment when we eventually touch it like this and you're rejecting it with these two candles somewhere around here that would be a signal for a short essentially that we're not going to continue higher but as we can see with the drawings if we're taking this out we're heading to the 050 fib there are some there are multiple levels guys so we've got 125 psychological level the next psychological level will be 150 up here in between the fibonacci's this 150 level is a psychological level which was the support that took us to 400 dollars plus and then we had a bounce from here almost 100 percent push from 134 to 237 so yeah over 100 dollar push and you can see that's the resistance um over here that 134 support flipped into resistance over well multiple times but an exact touch over here so that would also be a level above the 55 ema where that could be a uh an area of resistance so you need to watch out you could get a pump above the 55 closing here because this is resistance could push you back under it's just um at the moment i'd be very wary of if you're uh, wary if you're taking um, bu bullish trades because of all of these key resistances ahead what i'd personally do and what i'm waiting to do is to see rejections so you just simply have to wait there's no point of yeah dying to look for trades dying yeah to get into a trade you just have to wait for them to come to you 
yeah the whole yeah if you the whole point of trading is to maintain capital by protecting capital you should be making money if you're just going into trade to make money you're going to lose your money so if you're just not trading as many times you're protecting your money you're going to lose less if you're trading loads of times each one of them can be a loss so just avoid trading and you'll avoid as many losses essentially so by reducing the amount of trades you take you should reduce the amount of losses you take you want to be looking for higher quality setups not just trying to trade anything so that's why for the moment there's just so many key resistances the 382 at 125 130 134 142 150 159 168 188 these are all resistances that you must i must see myself this is the only way you guys are going to convince me we're going up i want to see us breaking through all of these levels unfortunately so until then i'm not believing we're going to go up do you understand that because technically this is only bullish once you make a higher high again for the continuation to uh, uh back to the high 400 dollars so that's the only way i'm convinced we're going back to 400 once we're actually above this point until then we can come up to 188 that would just yeah i wouldn't yeah I, I would need to see this hold of support if you fall through this and turn it back into resistance you're coming back down to go lower so until that point where we do this and take out the one fib level that's only when i will believe we're going up to there but you can see this is going to bring up bring a rejection as well your first rejection you've pulled away you will go into it and pull away again it will be a not not as deep as a as a correction because again if you want to maintain bullish structure it needs to be higher lows so it'd have to remain above that you could of course do that as well so yeah until we're really above this purple line which is the old head and shoulders patterns uh, neckline then yeah it's not really confirmed we're going to continue to the upside of course you can go up to there in the short term but there's no guarantee that you're going to go beyond that point understand that so that's why i'm focused at the moment on seeing whether we can push through all of these levels and if i can see that and all earn uh, this uh final level turning support and us breaking above there then yeah i'm pretty certain we're going to be continuing up until then my belief as you can see i have a fib from here to here and the golden pocket between 160 and 142 and in between directly in the middle of that we have our 150 dollar uh, psychological level which again was the support that sent us to 440 dollars so yeah reclaiming all of those level flipping into support and taking out the 786 is an amazing first step until then you have to believe that this is resistance this double bottom and inverse head and shoulders we see here is short term it's not long term so that's what we need to believe going forward because again push exhaust continuation that's what the fibonacci's are break through it that's called a reversal wave confirm its support head to the one six one eight four hundred dollars till we see them moves i'm not believing we're going up i'm believing of in this rejection please help me get over uh 75 likes on the video we haven't been hitting 100 but there's more than enough of you watching please of course subscribe we're almost at 4.5k subs let's smash that over the weekend and yeah hopefully 5k soon i'm going to be doing the giveaway over the weekend uh yeah you can still enter over on my twitter it's the pinned post if you want to um buy the education where i teach you guys all of this so you you, you won't need anyone's uh guidance you you'll be able to do it all by yourself then I have the education over my Twitter. The link is underneath this video. Thank you guys so much. Like, subscribe and comment. Peace.